just a small note on the uh, sidewalk matter. Um, Sidewalk replacements under the Wheeling and Lake Erie Railroad and uh, expanding limits. Uh, bids were advertised and publicly open on Thursday, August 4, 2016, at 10 a.m. in the council chambers uh, for the Washington Avenue sidewalk replacement under the Wheeling and Lake Erie uh, Railroad overpass and expanding limits. The following bid results uh, Contractor A, Moranti Contracting, 10% bid bond. $109,430. Uh, clear contracting, 10% uh, bid bond for a bid of $117,413. Michael Flashiano contracting, 10% bid bond, $144,525. Uh, the end of construction, 10% bid bond, uh, $264,750. And East Coast paving, Bid um, motion of the borough council regarding the bids received for Washington Avenue sidewalk replacement of the Wheeling Lake Erie Railroad and expanded limits. Uh, I believe there's going to be some discussion. We have to bring it up, as a, bring it up to the table. Yes, sir. Okay. Is there a motion? Also, railroad property. Right. 
the, the sidewalk there in front of Donald Walsh is, is below or even even with the elevation of the existing roadway. So the water has no place to go but to be trapped on that sidewalk. And I would agree with you, Pat, it's an icing problem. But I think that the way that we have this set up is in order to eliminate the icing problem is to reestablish the sidewalk with a combination curb and sidewalk to have a gutter line to keep the water within the roadway so that the water drains along Washington Avenue and gets into the existing uh, storm sewer system. The scope of the work also includes core drilling some holes into the Jersey barriers on the one side where they don't exist so that any water that would be behind the sidewalks underneath the railroad overpass would have the ability to drain out into the road like it does on the other side of the road. The one thing that has occurred here with this cost, this cost is higher because uh, since Washington Avenue is state road, PennDOT requires the work to be done at night. So all work has to be done between uh, 6 o'clock at night and 6 o'clock in the morning, which results in a premium cost for that work. For a contractor to come out here, have his guys out at work at night, and then no, there's no waivers. And then plus they have to pay someone to be at the, at, at the concrete plant to batch out the concrete at night. So we're at a disadvantage uh, from that perspective. If we were able to do the work during the daytime, I think you'd see a, a little cost. And when I put my cost estimate together, that was based on all the work being done during the daytime hours. Where's the responsibility lie with the railroad? Well, well, I don't think that's a good question. And as I mentioned, and again, we won't be in a position. I'm in. I'm, I'm having conversations with. I'm in conversations with the railroad right now. Let's say with with and it we, we could have um, the patience of one cycle. With these high bids in particular, we believe we're going to have information to bring back in and be able to have us have a, a more limited scope of work and perhaps some participation. Okay, so you're in conversation with the plan. Okay. And I'd make a motion to table this until we hear something from the room. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? All right. Table that and make sure we get it. Thank you very much.